Oh, in the meadow, a red kalena has bent down low. For some reason, our glorious Ukraine is in sorrow. And we will take that red kalena and we will raise it up. And hey, hey, we shall cheer up our glorious Ukraine. Between 1919 and 1991, those words in Ukrainian were banned by the Soviet state. Anyone caught singing Chervona Kalina was jailed, beaten, even exiled. These words are currently banned in territories of Ukraine temporarily occupied by the invaders. And yet, now, as then, they are still sung by Ukrainians with bravery and defiance. Oyu luci cervona kalina pokulilasya Chohos nasha slavna ukraina zazurilasya YVR screen scene for Ukraine. Mnezvate Sabrina Ronnie Firminger. Dziakuyu Chovuitut. Good evening. Welcome to YVR screen scene for Ukraine. My name is Sabrina Ronnie Firminger. Thank you for being here. With humility and gratitude, I acknowledge that we are gathered tonight on the unceded and traditional territories of the Squamish. Tsleil-Waututh, and Musqueam First Nations. A reminder that truth and reconciliation is the responsibility of all settlers. This gala is brought to you tonight by my company, YBR Screen Scene. It was important for me, uh, a Ukra Ukrainian Canadian and a mom, to sponsor this event so that every single dollar from ticket sales goes to the Ukrainian Canadian Advocacy Group's Rehabilitation Therapy Programs for the Children of Fallen Heroes. Every dollar you spent to be here is going to very deserving kids who have endured unimaginable loss. You're giving them a chance to heal. Thank you for shining your light on these kids. In the last year, we have seen incredible devastation and astounding acts of bravery and kindness. Every step of the way, Ukrainians have met Russia's hideous genocide with ferocious courage. And Ukrainian Canadians, such as myself, have found ourselves grappling with the question of, how can we help? For me, the answer has been non-stop fundraising for Ukrainian humanitarian relief. Late last year, I was proud to team up with USAG and the Rehabilitation Program for the Children of Fallen Heroes, a unique and essential program spearheaded by a very special woman, Olga Prodan. It was Olga who described the Ukrainian-Canadian diaspora as a sleeping giant. And now that this giant is awakening and gathering friends, we are powerful and unstoppable. Look at this room filled with Ukrainian Canadians, temporarily displaced Ukrainians, recently arrived Ukrainians, and allies with roots extending all over the world. Ukraine will win this war. And with our support and the support of all of their friends around the world, Ukraine will get to victory much sooner. By donating to charities serving Ukraine, by countering Russian propaganda, by elevating and amplifying Ukrainian voices, 
by experiencing the depth and breadth that Ukrainian culture has to offer, by supporting recently arrived Ukrainians with friendship and opportunities, by keeping Ukraine top of mind, even when our media has moved on to the next big thing in the news cycle, by being here tonight, you are helping Ukraine. You are powerful. And together, we are unstoppable. Thank you to Bandura musician Ruta Yani, who performed for us in the lobby. Thank you to Vif Van City Theater for opening their home to us for the evening. Thank you to the many volunteers who poured their love into this event. Thank you to my co-producers, Mimolote Brat, Moya Mulota Sestra, Adrian and Olga for their passion and creativity and big hearts and wicked senses of humor. Thank you to my husband, Paul, co-owner of my company, who just nodded when I said, hey, let's pay for another gala. He is also the guy buying everyone a drink tonight. Thank you, Paul. Soon we will dim the lights and together we will watch Vidana, a stunning feature film by Cristina Sivolap. Last year at this time, Cristina was still in Poland with her daughter, having recently fled Ukraine. Tonight she is with us. We dedicate tonight's screening to Viktor Onisko, the film editor of Vidana, who was killed in battle in December 2022. After the film, please join us in the lobby for holubchi, vareniki, coffee, and dessert. And we have got Nemirov vodka at the bar. You still got your drink ticket. Uh, please look at the auction items on display for our online auction. It includes a battle flag signed by the members of a battalion currently serving in eastern Ukraine. Three clocks that were made in Ukraine from downed Russian jets. A beautiful Vishivanka vest created by one of Ukraine's top Vishivanka artists, Tanya Znak. And a glove signed by world heavyweight champion and passionate defender of Ukraine, Vladimir Klitschko. Make sure you grab one of the gift bags that Olga and I made for you with lots of loves before leaving tonight. We also have some Ukrainian handicrafts for sale, including magnets made by my daughter, Mariana, and bracelets made by Christina Sovolov's daughter, Alyssa. Isn't that powerful? Two little girls, one Ukrainian Canadian, and one who arrived from Kyiv last spring, both selling their creations to raise funds for children who have lost parents in this cruel war. Children helping children. There's nothing more powerful than that. Tonight, we celebrate the will of the Ukrainian people and we assert their right to exist as free people in their own country. Slava Ukraini! Heroin Slava! Heroin Slava! And now, I introduce you to my co-producer and Moloche Prat, Adrian Petrio.